Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of the Untamed Trail. Today, we're in Tuncurry, and we're going to be fishing the island and the oyster racks, oyster racks around here. Um, I've fished this island quite a bit. I'm sure you guys have seen it in my previous videos. There's a section right at the start that I always walk past, and I think, oh yeah, that's cool. Um, and normally just walk past, I don't think anything of it. Um, I'm going to fish there to start with, because it looks like it should hold fish. Um, so I'm going to fish there with a little clone prawn. Then we're going to head across to the island. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I've got my two setups now, my two light setups. I've got some surface spinners, so surface poppers and stuff like that, um, to try and maybe chase some whiting, maybe get some flathead to come up off the bottom. And then I've just got the regular soft plastic gear. Um, so I'm super excited. The wind is meant to pick up a little bit, but we're on an island. We should be able to find somewhere that I can hide and hopefully get onto some fish, guys. I'm excited. The sun is out. It's a beautiful day. Let's get going. been throwing that prawn for a while now haven't even had a nibble um, I've got to this little bit of a sand flat and I've seen one or two decent whiting getting along so we're gonna throw the surface lure and just see if we can try and get one of them on um, but yeah definitely gonna be changing the plastic up for the next section too guys um, so yeah we've got a, uh, a little Daiwa I think they're called the um, slippery dog uh, in a 95 or 92 about that sort of size anyway um, so let's go Just look how beautiful this place is, guys. All right. Even if I'm not catching anything, it's just amazingly beautiful to come here and go for a fish. But that looks like some big Ludericks. We have uh, changed to, I think it's called an imposter prawn or something like that. One of the new Rapala ones. So we're gonna give that a quick flick here. The uh, surface lure did not work. So we'll give this a crack. is a gorgeous flooded my foot's 30 so uh he's probably a comfortable 40 i'd say low 40s um absolutely stoked on that yeah look at that gorgeous little floody guys oh feisty <laughs> yeah that's a uh that's a decent little specimen. We'll see if we can get him to move on. I'll chase him a little bit. But, uh, oh, we're on the board. Um, cracking little one. 
yeah, like I said, probably low 40s. Um, and that was, geez, probably maybe the 10th cast with that prawn. So changed, changed lures, changed colors. Um, and yeah, we're on the board pretty well. Um, it is a new location, so we're not just gonna say it is just the lure, but yeah, you know, absolutely stoked to get on the board, guys. Let's get a few more. Geez, he had a bit of fight in him. Well, I promised you guys I'd fish this first section, but when I first got here, it was freezing. It was pretty much high tide as well. So just, you know, water up to my knees uh, and just absolutely freezing. But we're a little bit lower now. We're a tiny bit more out of the wind as well. So we're gonna have a flick here and just see if we can get onto anything, guys. Oh, cranky little flatty. Cranky little flatty. Gorgeous little fish, guys. Cracking little floody. Ooh. So, cr cranky little floody. He's gone ooh, 30 centimeters. We're just going to squish him back into the water a little bit. Just a little flop. There we go. Try to charge the feet. Oh, look. He can stay there. So, <laughs> I've been walking past this spot plenty of times now and uh yeah I don't, I don't think I will ever again because um yeah <laughs> on the board here with the little flatty that was maybe like fourth or fifth cast as well so uh, there's a lot of little whiting getting about um I can see this spot being actually quite good when it heats up a little bit so yeah stoked to get on the board guys oh let's see if we can see this big school of whiting oh no we got potty mullet Just along there guys, there's probably 20 potty mullet and another half school on that right hand side so yeah look there, there's bait around and I mean surely there's some holes here that have to be some bigger flatties but yeah Stoke let's have a few more casts guys.
All right, guys, another cracking little fish. This one's probably just over 30. Oh. Jeez, been fishing all morning, three and a half hours, caught one, dropped two, and I've had two here in the space of 10 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm so glad I tried it. Well, that's it for today, guys. It's absolutely insane how much 15 minutes can change how much you've enjoyed the day. I was pretty frustrated, uh, caught that one decent floody, it was like early 40s, that sort of stuff had two drops and just yeah morale wasn't great like it, it was a beautiful day it's great to go out fishing but yeah having the two drops and just a really slow day is pretty frustrating and then yeah get to that one spot and cast out and yeah two fish in maybe 10 15 minutes uh absolutely fantastic way to finish it uh and yeah it's made me actually go yeah that, that was a great great day i've really enjoyed today now so um but yeah Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you all on the next episode of the Untamed Trail. You.